It started with a career opportunity in Virginia, but it quickly became much more than that. It became an excuse to travel across the country and go see nature's beauty across many different states that both Teo and I have never seen before. We got to slide down sand dunes or explore the Great Smoky Mountains or relax in mineral waters and hot springs. All of this wouldn't have been possible without that career opportunity in Virginia, but I'm grateful for the trip that we took. I hope you enjoy the video. Bye. <laughs> in this leg of the trip, we traveled from our home in Santa Clarita all the way to a fraternity brother's apartment out in Flagstaff in Arizona. Stop for gas and needles, and we're almost in Arizona. It should take us what another three hours to get there. Yeah, um, two hours and sixteen minutes. Yeah, so we're getting pretty close. Pretty excited. Uh, it'll be fun. But yeah. So we got to Flagstaff and it is awesome up here. Uh, we met up with Rogelio, one of the fraternity brothers, and he's super cool. He uh, has a pretty cool apartment. It's, uh, we just finished playing FIFA and he actually took us out to Raising Canes and bought it for us, which is really nice. So big shout out. Uh, he took us through campus, which is pretty gorgeous. Um, we're going to get some footage of it tomorrow morning when we're heading out just so we can put it all together but yeah so far it's awesome and then the sunset's happening it's kind of behind already but <laughs> you can see some pretty clouds so super green up here yeah it's super super green i don't know lots of trees and stuff so yeah but we're gonna go back inside and we're gonna hang out with Rogelio for the rest of the night, and then um, we'll check back in tomorrow. Tight.
just finished, or we just woke up. We're about to head out to Mesa Verde. Uh, Rogelio is a super cool guy. He had another fraternity brother show up. Uh, so it was really cool to be able to see them interact and whatnot. They were actually both initiated by oh. the Paisai chapter down at Embry Riddle. So it was super cool to see how they're doing right now. Uh, could have been a more, more comfortable sleep, but not too bad. We're getting a head start on our day, and we actually got to see part of the sunrise. It's cold this morning. So now we're going to go get some food and then go head out, but yeah, we'll probably catch up at Four Corners. It is on the way, but we're about an hour out from Mesa Verde, and I don't know, it would have been cool to see, but coronavirus. Yeah, it's not that bad, but I don't know. That just means that we'll get to uh, Mesa Verde a little faster, set up camp, and then we could go start hiking, go see some cool places. Oh, okay, let's check this out. got to uh, Mesa Verde and the uh, visitor center looks like it's closed but I don't know but yeah we just stopped got some gas and firewood and stuff it looks like a really cool visitor center kind of sad that it's closed here take a look showed up and checked in. It's a really cool little general store and then they also serve breakfast, which is awesome. They have another store back that way. And what's awesome is they have showers and coin off and laundry. So definitely do, but I really like it. It's super cool. We just got to our campsite. It looks pretty cool. I don't know, it'll be pretty fun. There's gonna be our spot. There's a fire band, so I don't think we could. I don't think we're able to have any fires, so I made Teo carry a bundle of firewood for no reason. But we'll find something for it or somewhere to put it. So we're gonna set up camp right now and then we're gonna eat lunch and we're gonna go. So hopefully we can set up pretty quickly and get going. So I should probably stop videoing. But yeah. Uh, not yet. Uh, I'm gonna set up camp first. Say something to you. Hey. hey, we just got here. I'm sure Tristan gave you the rundown already. You ready? 
Yeah. Now we're standing on top of some Pueblos. So we're on the top of, of it right now. We're gonna do a hike. I think it's to over there somewhere. Which should let us see what's underneath us. So there's a cool map that we could check out. So far there's pretty cool Pueblos. Definitely really interesting. So I guess this is what it looks like. Yeah, so that's the trail that's closed. I mean, we would need a permit. Or not a permit, a tour. First hike tail. It's hard to believe. Day two, first hike. Day two, first hike. <laughs> and it looks pretty cool. Yeah. But we're here to see something interesting, not to go on a long hike. But the next one is 2.4 miles. I don't know if that's round trip or a loop. Or same thing. Um, but yeah, hope that one also shows the same Pueblo houses. As uh, this one? Or no, different Pueblo house, the same design, obviously. They don't have... Obviously. Yeah, like, they're... we all know that. <laughs> Looks like we arrived to a lookout. Oh man, check out that valley. That's pretty gnarly. I wonder if we could see any Pueblos, though. Maybe it's just a valley lookout. Do you see anything? You do need glasses too. It's crazy. All right. Let's see this overlook. Maybe it's a bit more promising. What trail are we on? It's the Spruce Treehouse Trail. And we can already see this guy right here. So hopefully we get closer. Yeah. But so there's apparently a good lookout. That's almost level with the Pueblos. Dry everywhere else, except 
So update that, that trail was closed, but we are doing a different trail that looks like it will take us to some petroglyphs. Um, and it's also taking us through the canyon, so it's super green and lush down here, which is really cool. And it definitely uh, takes us out of the heat, which is nice. Teo picked up a book, but now we can either go down Spruce Canyon or Petroglyph. Teo, have you seen Petroglyphs before? Mm, petroglyphs. Turn it to the back. Like, uh, those are Petroglyphs. Oh, like the Egyptian. No, I have not seen yeah, so we decided to go through the Petroglyph Trail. Tayo's never seen any before, so it'll be new for him. Petroglyphs are either clan symbols or uh, different spirits uh, that represent where they're going or what they're doing or who's controlling them uh, or with, like what being is watching over them. And it's all outlined right here, which is super cool. So it's a good thing Teo picked it up. And then there's the key right here in the back which you can see up here. Yeah, they, they were actual like beef between clans. In, in my class they would talk, uh, my professor who's part of the chair of the Pomo tribe in California would talk about how uh, uh, people would try to not mess with the grizzly bear tribe in Northern California because they believed that they would embody the spirit of a grizzly bear. And so like say, let's say, a clan from another tribe would rape somebody from the bear tribe, they believed that if that happened, the bear spirit would dis destroy their clan and their, their family. So, uh, it's interesting to see actual clans uh, being um, worshipped in Petroglyphs. So. And then they wrote all of this right in front of this awesome view. We do have to get going so we can see the rest of the stuff though. After the hike to the petroglyphs, Teo and I decided to go check out the pit houses which are on the top of the canyon. Uh, these pit houses were actually the first generation of homes that the Native Americans developed while out here. And they continued to improve their masonry techniques and skills, which eventually evolved into them building larger temples and what we see today inside of the cliff, the cliff dwellings. Yeah, we uh, we have to go back to the campsite to put in more stakes because we're too worried that our, our tent will, will fly away. Um, but we didn't get, we, we went to every single place except for one, which is the peak, the, the highest point in the park, which is very unfortunate. Um, maybe we can do it tomorrow or something, I don't know. Probably. Probably not. Uh, we got a pretty tight schedule, so we gotta book it to Great Sand Dunes. Yeah, we gotta we gotta get into the next second park. Yeah, well, this is scary. I'm counting the lightning and the thunder to see how close it is. All right, bye. Ah! No! We're not even there yet. So update. We got back, our tent was still here, so that was good. We ate dinner, and it's like, what, 6.30? Uh, yeah. And we can't figure out what to do. Well, I could read, but I don't want to. Teo could read, but I don't want to. And, I don't know, we're kind of tired. We only got four hours of sleep last night. So I think we might call it a night suit, and then just uh, go get up early and go hiking. Maybe uh, go, to the, go to the lookout that Teo kept talking about. And then, then we're gonna go to the gift shop because he wants a postcard. And then we're on to Great Sand Dunes. So hopefully we get there at a decent time to secure a campsite. And if not, we're 
we're gonna get a hotel, but hopefully we get a campsite. It's kind of cool. It is raining still. You probably hear it. Um, so yeah, not fun. I came here wanting to have a fire and sit by the fire and just play guitar or something. Turns out they have a fireman, and then um, <laughs> and then it starts raining. So even if they didn't have a fireman, so yeah, yeah. But Teo, summarize today in three words. Uh, scary, uh, historical, uh, uh and adventurous. Okay, that was pretty good, I guess.